Alright, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take pictures with the iPod Touch or the iPhone. It's going to work with the iPhone. So, pretend you want to take a picture of anything. Alright, I'll go to Safari, just for example. Alright, new page. Alright, in the Safari search bar, you could go to Photo Bucket or anything. I'll just go to Google to make it easy. I went to Google.com. I clicked on Images. And now I'll type in like Gears of War or something like that. Right here, Gears of War 2. And it will search. Alright, here's a good picture, I guess. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay, after you have a. Let me, okay. Alright, here's the picture. Alright, you should maximize it. So, oh my god. Yeah, I accidentally clicked on that. Okay, I'm sorry about this. I'm accidentally clicking stuff. Okay, we want the Gears of War picture, right? So you maximize the picture. God, alright. So that it fits the screen. Well, that's a little off. Alright, I guess that's good, I don't know. You can make it so it fits exactly perfect. Which I'm trying to do, but... Don't, no, don't click that. Alright, well, I think that's good enough just for example's sake. Alright, so what you do to take the picture, it's going to take the full screen, which starting right here, down to here. So it's going to take the full screen, so yeah. What you click is the standby button and the home button at the same time for like a second and you let go. So let me put this camera down. Let me put my camera down. So then you click, oh god. Alright. You click the home button and the standby button at the same time, which I would do. Alright, you just click at the same time and let go. And then if you saw that white flash, that means it took the picture. Alright, so to get to the picture, you go to, you go to your home, you go to your photos, and you go to saved photos, click on the picture, and there it is. It's, this down here, it's part of the picture, I don't know if you can see it, like the plus sign, that's part of the picture, so, yeah. <laughs> so, alright, so. If you want to set it as background, you can just click right here, that little square button, and then use as wallpaper. But I'm not going to use this. I'm going to just delete it. Um, I'll make another example just to show. All right, I'll, I'll just take a picture of this home screen. You could take a picture in, like, almost anything. I'll take a picture of this regular home screen. All right. So, once again, put the camera down. Alright, since it can't go to landscape mode, all you have to do is click the standby button and the home button at the same time and let go. Alright, so. Alright, it made the white flash, which means it took the picture. And, yeah, let's see. Where it is, where is it? Go to photos. Go to saved photos. And I guess you could, like, fool around with your friends pretend this is the home screen and when they try to click on something it like won't work they'll be like what's going on but yeah so if they have a if your friend has a if your friend has an iPhone or a iPod touch you can do that to your phone's friend and they'll get like really scared because when they try to click on something it'll like zoom in and yeah so I don't know that's just a little something so, um, in my next video, I'm going to probably show you how to text message or 
how to how to text message or how to what's it called um oh god i forgot well yeah i guess i'll just show you how to text message in the next video then all right thank you for watching this video and um comment if you have any questions it shouldn't be too hard so yeah